What's happening there guys and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look inside the Paradise Cove mobile home. We'll be spilling all the juicy details that you'll be knowing about this luxurious mobile home, so without any further ado, let's dive right in. Number 5. What is Paradise Cove? Paradise Cove is a pet-friendly, kid-friendly neighborhood with walking paths and playground equipment. Other amenities include a guarded gate entrance, large clubhouse, tennis court, basketball court, playground, and of course, the beach. The highly rated school district includes Malibu Elementary, Malibu Middle School, and Malibu High School. The Paradise Cove Mobile Home Park is located on the bluffs overlooking the Pacific. It's the location, however, that attracts the buyers. Paradise Cove has 276 mobile homes, some with ocean views, and all with direct access to the private beaches of Point Doom. The cove is truly paradise, an abundance of trees and lush grounds and a friendly, safe neighborhood make for a laid-back environment for adults and children alike. Residents have the use of a large clubhouse, tennis court, basketball court, children's playground, and beautiful beach. The nearby Paradise Cove Beach Cafe makes dining out simple and convenient. The history of Paradise Cove Mobile Home Park dates back to the 1960s when it became a popular beach vacation spot. Paradise Cove has been seen in movies and TV shows, including Rockford Files, X-Men, and Baywatch. Over the years, the vacationer's paradise turned into a thriving neighborhood and became what we know as Paradise Cove Mobile Home Park. Number 4. The Origin In 1979, David Carter, then a 30-year-old surfer, decided to move from Maui, where he'd spent a few years chasing waves and making surfboards, to Southern California. He and his wife were in search of that real estate oxymoron, an affordable place close to the ocean where they could raise their two sons. On the advice of friends, they went to visit a curious little subdivision called Paradise Cove, a private waterfront community of 265 trailers in Malibu. The area was first developed in the 50s when fishermen began parking their trailers and campers down by the water. In the 70s, the cove's owners graded the bluff above their original plot, which at that point had 100 trailers to make space for an additional 165 double-wide units. Carter bought one of these larger mobile homes for around $70,000, the going rate at the time. 36 years later, he still lives in the cove, although he's now no longer a surfboard maker, but a successful real estate broker, and those mobile homes sell in millions. And yet, despite that stunning appreciation, Paradise Cove remains very much what it was when he first moved there. A laid-back, humble 85-acre classic California beatscape populated by people who want to live within walking distance of a secluded stretch of the Pacific Ocean. The difference, besides prices of course, is that although people once came here because it was all they could afford, the Cove's new generation of residents, including entrepreneurs, financiers, and a handful of actors, designers, and filmmakers, come here because they want to, because the area represents an antidote and at times a rebuke to the sprawling estates of nearby Los Angeles where some of them maintain their primary residences. The other thing that attracts these newcomers to the community is its coziness, its very sense of community, hard to avoid when your neighbors are just 10 feet away, and the unlikelihood that it will ever be developed. There are still just 265 trailers here and no room nor plans to add more. Number 3. What are the advantages of mobile homes? With a mobile home, you don't own the land that you're parked on, but rather pay a monthly fee akin to the lease for the plot. Now this understandably gives people pause because if they lose the land, what exactly are they supposed to do about that? Except there are two more elements that come to play here. One, a mobile home park is one of the least expensive ways to get into an insanely expensive area. Two. These particular parks have tons of protective clauses built into the leasing system, which means that nobody is up and selling the park and kicking you out. Whatever you picture in your head when you think trailer, that's not what we're dealing with here. Sure, some of the houses are more traditional mobile homes, but the vast majority are manufactured homes that residents have built on the chassis of a previous property. They're massively less expensive than traditional stick built, are infinitely customizable, and are, when done right, stunning. Many residents buy smaller homes as weekend or summer getaways. 
A one bedroom can go for as low as 600,000. And yes, we know that 600,000 for one bedroom seems insane. But remember that we're talking about a one bedroom with a view of the sea and private beach access. Number two, which celebrities live in Paradise Cove Bluffs? Paradise Cove has been called home by big name celebrities, including actors Minnie Driver, Pamela Anderson, and Matthew McConaughey. In fact, fashion designer Betsy Johnson just listed her pink mobile home, which is located in the park for $1.95 million. Number one, who's the owner of Paradise Cove? Paradise Cove mobile homes were developed in the early 1960s as a beach rental vacation spot with 71 homes in the lower section. A decade later, the park was sold to the Kissel family, which then developed 200 more spaces in the upper areas of Paradise Cove, creating what we now have as this wonderful neighborhood. After all these years, the newcomers, upon their arrival, see the same thing that Drew Carter did so many years ago, which is a place that is nearby but feels far away. This brings us to the end of our video. So, what do you guys think? Do let us know everything in the comments section below and lastly don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well as hit that bell icon. Catch you guys later!